Welcome to Electron Online. Nothing like a good example to show you how the theory actually works. So what we're going to do here is take the derivative of a position vector when the position vector is defined as follows. R as a function of the parametric variable t is equal to t squared in the i direction plus 3t in the j direction. And of course you see the general process here. We're going to take a position vector, then take a second position vector, a small delta t later, and as delta t goes to the limit, as delta t goes to zero, we ended up with this equation right here, where the derivative of the position vector is simply equal to the derivative of the x component plus the derivative of the y component with respect to that parametric variable. So we're going to evaluate the derivative when t is equal to two, and then try to figure out what does it actually represent. So let's go ahead and first find the derivative of this position vector right here. So r prime of t is equal to the derivative of the x component, which would be 2t in the i direction, plus the derivative of the y component, which is 3 in the j direction. And now we're going to evaluate that for a particular t, t equals 2. And again, let's assume here that t represents time. So r prime when t is equal to 2 we plug in 2 for every t so that's 2 times 2 in the i direction plus 3 in the j direction so this would be 4i plus 3j so what does that actually mean that's the question this prime equals to 2 what does it mean when we get this as a result well the derivative of the position would be the velocity so that means that this here actually represents the velocity of that particle at t equals 2, at time equals 2 seconds, for example. And that means that this would be the velocity of the particle in the x direction, and this would be the velocity of the particle in the y direction. So we can say that v as a function of time is equal to the derivative of the position vector. And of course, this in itself would be a vector as well. What would be the magnitude of the total velocity? Well, we can say that velocity when t, and of course, to be perfectly correct here, I should say t equals 2 because we're evaluating this at t equals 2. So the velocity at t equals 2, the magnitude of that would be equal to the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared, which is equal to 16 plus 9, which is equal to the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. That means that the magnitude of the velocity would be 5, but that the component of that velocity in the x direction would be 4, and in the y direction would be equal to 3. So that's how we want to interpret the result of the derivative of, in this case, the position vector r. Oh, here we go. r is equal to t squared in the i direction plus 3t in the j direction. Hmm. Okay, that's how we do that. And stay tuned for a few more videos on how to deal with the derivative of a position vector.